Okay, so before we create our anim tree and run, start running the character around in the world, we have to do a few things to actually make that possible. Um, namely, we need to take some assets from the folder and put them into the UDK file structure. So in under the UDK assets folder, take the GA underscore animation folder and copy that. And we're going to put it under development, source, and copy paste it here. Okay, so now we need to take the level and paste it to its appropriate spot. And that will be under UDK game, content, maps, UT3, paste. Now back up until you have, until you see the config folder and open that. And then we're going to open up default engine.ini. And then here under Unreal Ed Editor Engine, we're basically going to mimic what they have by saying plus edit packages equals GA underscore animation. Okay, so now we need to actually compile the scripts before we can even open up UDK. And one of the ways that you can do that is through Unreal Front End. So right now we just need to say script, full recompile. And you should hopefully not get any warnings. And if you get any errors, fix them before proceeding. All right, so good. That's what you want to see, a nice green line that says succeeded. So now I'm going to close this and open up UDK. Select GA underscore agent. And now I'm going to double click the anim tree. And we're just going to set up, for now at least, set up a basic movement, an idle and then a walk or run. Uh, I'll probably just set up the, uh, the run cycle. So first thing I need to do is right-click in the gray area. This doesn't have to be selected. Right-click in the gray area, do new animation node, blend by, blend by, or I'm sorry, UDK anim blend by idle. I'm going to plug animation into out, right? Now we just need to create a couple of um, anim node sequences. And what I just did was go to right click, animate, new animation sequence, anim node sequence. And basically this node right here is, going, is where we're going to tell it to look at our animation, the specific animation that we name that is in the anim set editor. So anim sequence name is agent, idle. So obviously the idle is something that needs to loop, so I'm going to set it to playing, looping, and I'm going to plug it into idle. And right off the bat we see that our character is moving. Now I'm, I can just go through the same um, method of creating a new node, or I can just copy paste this one because there's not much difference aside from a name that I'm going to change. So to copy and paste this quickly, just with it selected, Hit Control W, and then you can hold down Control and click it and move it around. I'm going to hook it up to move, and then I'm just going to change the idle to run. And of course, it should be looping as well. So when I make this transition, you can see this going into run. Go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this by holding down Alt, and then click on the child, and holding down Control Alt, and I can click and drag a box around everything, and then holding down Control, I can move it out of the way. Now, I need to set up a couple of custom anim nodes that deal with the attack, the death, and the push animation. And they're all going to be the same setup, so I can build one, copy and paste two more times and then just change the name. And the naming of how I do this absolutely relates to code that is in the script. So it has to be named exactly what that is. And that I'm not going to get into. I didn't write the scripts. All right, so first thing we need to do is go to new, anim new animation node, anim node, play custom anim. Okay. And we need to create another one of these and 
just so you get in the habit of knowing where it's at. I'm just going to create it this way. So you go to new animation sequence, anim node sequence. Okay. So I'm going to hook that up to custom and I'm going to call it agent combat. Okay. It does not loop, but I do want it to play obviously. So I'm going to hook animation up to out and then normal up to the out of the UDK anim blend by idle. So basically what this is saying is once I once I'm starting, if none of these other things that are happening right here are taking place, just play the idle until I move and so on. So the custom anim node needs to be named some, um, a particular thing that is specific to the um, the pawn the pawn script. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If I open up the ga underscore pawn, we see variable anim node play custom anim attack node push node fall node that's what these the custom anim node needs to be called it needs to this is where we've already decided what the name is ahead of time so i'm going to just adhere to that and say custom anim node is attack node okay so i'm going to go ahead and exit out of that go ahead and hit save open the anim tree back up and i need to do a few more things so that i can have it work with the push and the death. So holding down Alt, I'll go ahead and disconnect that. And then holding down Control Alt, I'll drag the select over the two boxes and hit Control W twice. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to name it uh, the push node as per the script. And then I'll name this, actually this in the script it's called fall node. Okay, I'll change the name on this one to agent push. Oops, this is looping. And then the, this one here to agent death. And that is not looping. So here's where I'll just chain them together. So I'll go normal to out normal to out, and then normal to out. Okay, go ahead and hit save. And here's where I'm actually going to open up my, open up the GA underscore level, because we have a kismet sequence set up that allows, that will play the, once you're in this trigger here, will actually play the push node, and when you approach this trigger and the, the explosion happens, it'll actually kill you. So. Let's see that happen. Oh, obviously there's no get up animation at all. It just pops right back up into place, but okay. And this is really gonna come across super laggy. So just bear with me, um, but it's pushing the object, pushing the box, having some problem with the bit popping back into the run right now, but essentially it's, it's basic level it's working so well that's pretty much it i mean that's that's at its most basic level that's how you get out of whatever your 3d package you're using through fbx and into udk so to kind of recap just very quickly um, if you're using your own character make sure your character is a single hierarchy skeleton that is when you when you export that out of your Maya, Max, uh, Softimage, whatever, when you export that, it needs to just be the mesh, the joints, and the animation applied to the joints. And, and FBX, obviously. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And now go forward and make awesome animations and art and games and have fun.